so to start off open any python id that you use i use pycharm so and what you want to do is start a new project so new project and Now for this we're going to need a few packages. So first of all make sure you have python installed and then just open your terminal. So command prompt for windows and just make sure you have python installed and type pip3 install selenium. Now for windows you don't have to type pip3 you just have to type pip install selenium. If you are on Mac or Linux, pip3 install selenium and for me I have already installed it but for you over here it will just install and once that is done that's all we need. Um, now open the terminal in the in the directory where this is stored and just so this will create a, a, a python file and it will show up here, here whatsapp bot dot py now so first thing we have to do is import the library that we just installed from from selenium import web driver now we do have to download another package and that is called chrome web driver so we can just go to google chrome and search for chrome web driver and just install the one you're using uh, depending on your google chrome version to find that out just go here go to help and about google chrome and there this is our version and so we can just download it and just store it somewhere in some directory and just copy the name of the directory then go back over here and just type in this code driver equals webdriver dot chrome executable path and inside these just put in the path where the chrome driver has been stored so in mine it's in this path for you for windows it could be in the c drive d drive wherever now after this for whatsapp we need to get whatsapp.com or whatsappweb.com so we'll go to chrome and search whatsapp web and yeah so that's the url web.whatsapp.com so once we've copied that all we need to do is driver dot get and just paste the path over here that's it now we can also do driver dot maximize window all right so after this we want to give the user an option to type in the name of the person or group who they want to send the message to so we can just simply make a variable called name and over here we can just ask them for enter the name of the person or group you want to send them message to i hope i got that yeah okay so now we need another variable that will store the message so message equals again input enter the message and we'll add a new line over here and here and the lastly the last variable we'll call it count 
and this will store the number of times we want to send the message so there we go and again we'll add a new line there oh and also this is an int so we'll just add that there and close per end so now we want to search for the name of the person so we'll just make variable user and driver dot find element by expand there and now inside this bracket we have to enter the expat of the user we'll go to google chrome we'll go to google chrome and we'll just go back to web dot whatsapp dot com once it loads up we just want to press ctrl shift i in google chrome and that will open up this inspect element method and over here we want to press this uh, arrow and then just name of the group or the person so i just go there and over here we can see that the span title is the name of the person so we'll just make a quick x path so span and then we'll call it at title equals and there it finds it so this is correct we'll copy this into our x path but instead of double quotes this time we just put single quotes okay this is a mess okay perfect okay so now we just put name which is this variable in curly braces now for it to work we'll actually have to put dot format and name here and we just remove that and save So we'll right click and copy and copy X path. So that's copied. We'll go back here and we'll call this the message box. And again, driver dot find element by X path. We'll paste this and then we'll just click it. there actually we'll so now that we can click the message box we we're going to create a for loop so for i in range count we want to do this message box dot send keys and message which is over here and then we want to press enter so to do that you have to import another one and it's from selenium as well and over here we need message box dot send keys keys dot return so this will press enter every time a message is entered and yeah so let's let's try and run this so python 3 whatsapp dot pi we'll start this again it will ask us to use our phone to scan the qr code and as soon as that's done it should log in we'll go back there and enter the name of the person we'll do this 
and enter the message we'll do hi and the number of times so let's start with just once and as you can see hi it went just once okay oh good. so we'll run it again and again we'll scan the QR code and enter the name of the person and enter the message hi and 200 and as soon as we press enter it will start sending messages until it hits the 200 message mark so enter as you can see it starts sending the high two hundred times. Okay, so that's two hundred highs there. Wow. And there you have it and they should be delivered any second okay there we go they're delivering slowly so the person who you send this to is going to have a lot of messages and 200 is not the limit you can go for millions over here thanks for watching and I'll see you next time